Hello dear learners today we are going to discuss the MCQs from social pharmacy which was earlier known as health education and community pharmacy we are going to discuss the MCQs from the chapter epidemiology part 3 earlier parts part 1 and part 2 we have seen and in part 3 we are going to discuss about the disinfection and immunization schedule so to start with the mcqs the first question is the maintenance of temperature throughout the transport storage up to the administration is called the maintenance of temperature throughout the transport storage and administration of vaccine is called as whether it is cold fever system whether it is cold chain system whether it is cold mold system or cold flame system the correct answer is it is cold chain system because throughout the manufacturing transportation storage and till administration vaccines are need to be stored at cold temperature so maintaining this chain is called as cold chain system next question is development of vaccine disease even after the administration of vaccine is called as what it is whether it is vaccine failure whether it is vaccine disposal whether it is vaccine impact or none of them the correct answer is the term is vaccine failure vaccine failure is nothing but development of a disease even after the administration of vaccine <coughs> so this uh, development of disease leads to the failure of a vaccine the next question is characteristics of vaccines include now how vaccines should be they should be potent it must be stored at required temperature it should be administered through the correct route of administration or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them yes it should be potent then they should be stored at required temperature cold temperature is the requirement and they should be administered through a proper route only for example polio is administered through uh, oral route then dpt is administered through intramuscular route measles vaccines is administered through sub subcutaneous route same way typhoid vaccine so this are administration of vaccines which are specific for the specific vaccine vaccine must be potent also and it should be stored at cold temperature also adverse reactions whether it is general reactions such as fever malaise and pain whether it is hypersensitivity reaction such as anaphylactic shock serum sickness etc whether it is uh, allergic reaction such as encephal encephalitis and encephalopathy or all of them so the correct answer is if you will see it is all of them because vaccines when they are administered uh, then they produce the immune response and this there can be some side effects which are sometimes mild and sometimes very severe also so they are grouped into various categories so first category is just like a technical fault that means uh, sterilization of the instrument through which it is administered may not be proper so it may cause infection and the patient or the child specifically or can suffer from diseases because of the microbes present in it then injection reactions like general reactions such as pain tenderness swelling etc okay there can be hypersensitivity reactions such as anaphylactic shock and serum sickness like the very rare type of reactions like due to administration of specifically anti serum this reaction may take place like anaphylactic shock in the patient shows difficulty in breathing and hypertension and patient may collapse also even in few minutes another type of hypersensitivity reaction include 
serum sickness now the serum sickness consists of the pattern like fever rash edema joint pains etc and the serum sickness occurs after the administration of serum within 1 to 2 weeks of injection so for that reason the serums when before injecting they should be tested for intradermal sensitivity and then only they are administered then it can also include allergic reactions such as encephalitis encephalopathy and all uh, last option is all of them the correct answer is it is all of them these type of hypersensitivity uh, hypersensitivity reaction also then allergic reactions also it can cause like encephalitis and encephalopathy and all of them so next question is tt stands for whether it is a tetanus toxoid whether it is tetanus stemox toxoid or all of them the correct answer is it is tetanus toxoid tt full form is tetanus toxoid it stands for tetanus toxoid next question is dt stands for whether dt stands for diphtheria pertussis whether it no, sorry the first option is it is diphtheria tetanus diphtheria tarzan diphtheria tolazole or none of them the correct answer is it is diphtheria tetanus next question is opv stands for whether it is oral polio vaccine whether it is oral polio vulture whether it is oral polio virus or none of them the correct answer is it is oral polio vaccine next question is bcg stands for whether it is bacillus calmate urine bacillus cocci genus bacillus candida genus or none of them the correct answer is it is bacillus calmate urine bcg stands for bacillus calmate urine next question is dpt stands for dpt stands for whether it is diphtheria pertussis tetanus whether it is diphtheria pellet tetanus whether it is diphtheria pollen teresa or none of them the correct answer is it is diphtheria pertussis tetanus the full form is diphtheria pertussis tetanus next question is route of administration of measles vaccine is dash whether it is intravenous route of administration whether it is subcutaneous route whether it is intradermal use or oral use the correct answer is it is subcutaneous route measle vaccine can be administered by subcutaneous route next question is children are immunized against dash vaccine preventable diseases whether they are 6 in number whether they are 5 in number whether they are 10 in number or 16 in number the correct answer is it is 6 like for example like this uh, first is first comes under the one is dpt so diphtheria pertussis tetanus these are three then polio is fourth bcg is fifth and measles is Sixth, so <coughs> these are the six vaccines which are used against six vaccine preventable diseases and typhoid also. So the correct answer is it is six. Next question is in the memory of Indira Gandhi, universal immunization program was launched in whether it is in nineteen eighty five, whether it is in nineteen seventy five, whether it is in nineteen ninety. or it is in 1988 and the correct answer is it is 1985 according to the literature if you will see the immunization program was launched under the memory or, or uh, memory of late mrs indira gandhi by the name universal immunization program in 1985 next question is expanded program of immunization that is epi was started by who throughout the world in dash 
whether it is in 1975 1990 1985 or 1974 the correct answer is it is 1974 in 1974 epi was started by who throughout the world that is expanded program of immunization now expanded program of immunization name was changed to dash whether it is universal child immunization whether it is universal adult immunization whether it is universal child immunization or none of these the correct answer if you will see epi was changed to universal child immunization that is uci then next question is end step disinfection include end step disinfection now when we uh, come to know about the disinfection which is nothing but the removal or destruction of disease causing microorganism from non living objects like inanimate articles so there are various types of disinfection such as concurrent disinfection terminal disinfection prophylactic disinfection etc so when it comes to end step disinfection as the word suggest terminal disinfection that means end step disinfection so end step disinfection include terminal disinfection according to the definition of terminal disinfection this disinfection <coughs> is done generally when the period of communicability is over or the patient is discharged from the hospital so these like uh, cleaning the bed sheets room of that patient so this is terminal disinfection next question is when the infectious material is collected and disposed of immediately it is dash sterilization whether it is concurrent whether it is terminal whether it is prophylactic or all of them the correct answer is it is concurrent disinfection because according to the disinfection concurrent disinfection is the disinfection wherein the feces vomitus sputum or urine which is excreted is collected immediately and it is disposed of so it is known as concurrent disinfection with this we finish with few of the mcqs from epidemiology part 3 thank you